Hey guys, welcome to the drawing board. This is my first video, so I was pretty excited about making it. As you can see, when it zooms in into the picture, that means I'm going through my files, so I decided to blur that out. <laughs> but uh, today we are making a front face gotcha character. So as you can see, I'm using Photoshop and Grab It, which is a website for free. You can either download it or uh, use it. There is also a Grab It Pro mode, so I haven't got it, but I recommend you get it because they have a lot of more features that could really expand your uh, drawing capabilities using the website. So I will have a link to Grab It in the description and a link for Photoshop. Photoshop is not free, but I highly recommend you get it because it's very helpful not only in Gotcha, but in uh, a lot of other things, for example, pictures and other um, drawings you can do in the future. So as you can see, I'm highlighting all the parts of my uh, gotcha uh, character from the front hair to the back hair. And I have uh, the legs, the limbs, the and the scarf. So those are all the parts I have, and I'm just uh, making sure there's no... Uh, it looks okay and I'm going to attach it together but what I really want to do is I wish I saved it as a file so that I could do some tweaking to it and make this a gotcha animation but um, maybe I'll do that in the future if this gets some more light. So reason why uh, I really want I was really excited about doing this video because I didn't see a lot of videos aimed for PC users or uh, laptop users. So I decided to make a video on how to make a front face and gotcha character, not using the usual websites, instead of using something like uh, Grab It, for example. So as you can see, I'm cropping. I have copied and pasted multiple items, and now I am. Uh, I'm taking each limb and I'm combining it together. So right now I'm currently working on the torso and I'm hiding all the other objects. So this is a speed video, so I'm not going to go into too much detail with this. But if you guys want a full-on tutorial of this, you guys can tell me down in the comments and I certainly will make a tutorial. But um, so for now I'm working on the torso. And as you can see, I'm just trying to get rid of all the... Uh, that it looks so combined. I want to make sure it looks like just one torso. So I'm fixing the neck and uh, getting rid of all the lumps and bumps in it. And then I'm coloring some parts of it that I couldn't fix with the healing tool. And um, yeah, so I'm going to show you the end result of how this came out. This is the second time I made a gotcha uh, character front facing. So I really hope this turns out well. But uh, so here is the torso, and yes, I'm going to do videos besides gotcha, but if you guys like this video, I may do more gotcha videos and even gotcha role plays. So, um, uh, yeah, so over here, this is the front of the face, and now I'm working on the rear hair, and I decided to copy one side and copy the other, but the head, it makes it, the head look a little too wide. Over here, I was debating if I should draw some, on some new ears, ears since they weren't there. But then I remembered that she's a cat, so she doesn't need human ears, even though she had them in the picture. <laughs> so that's okay. And I'm trying to work on the scarf, and it did have the black detail in the middle. But since it wasn't there, since but I didn't think much of it, and I thought it was fine how it was. So then I'm working on the legs, and I'm trying to make them a little bit wider because they're too small. But um, but yeah, as you can see, I had a lot of trouble scaling it out, but I worked it out in the end. But uh, after I finished it, I realized that the the that the proportions were way too large, and it was too tall for a gotcha character. So I decided to go to the original picture of uh, oh my gotcha this gotcha character so I could scale it out correctly but so yeah as you can see right now it is pretty tall but um so yeah I'm gonna work all of this out I'm gonna save all the parts individually so that it can come out um perfectly and in the future maybe I can do some tweaking with it but um yeah so 
uh, let's just save this as a file and then move on to Photoshop. So as you can see, I'm going back and forth from Photoshop. And this is what I usually do. But I want to, um, so yeah, I just transitioned over to Photoshop. But yeah, this is what I usually do transitioning over to Photoshop and grab it. So yeah, this is coming out well. So since we have the uh, a gotcha character over here. This is perfect. So we're going to go back to Photoshop. I had to save the head and have the hair in the back. So that's why I didn't save them all together. But as you can see, I'm trying to fit it onto the head and make sure it is the correct size. Um, I'm also trying to make sure it's not weird or anything because I know a lot of people who do these videos, the gotcha character ends up looking a little awkward. Like, you obviously know it's an edit, but that's okay. I, I mean, that's that's fine, but I really tried to make sure it didn't look like that. And it kind of did, but it still looked like a front-facing gotcha character, which I liked. It wasn't that awkward, the character. I feel like one of the things that made it a little off was that its eyes weren't... I don't know. There was something about its eyes. As you can see, I just went into gotcha once again to go and add the eyes into this picture because I thought it was done and I was thinking, hey, there's something missing in this picture. <laughs> so this was a little difficult because the uh, white part of the eye, I didn't know where to highlight it. So I saved it and then went back to grab it so I could copy and paste it to the other side. And here, this is where I thought the eyes looked a little bit off, just awkwardly sitting there. So I tried to make it as okay as possible, but, um, it started still looked off so I decided instead of going for that anime look with their eyebrows over the hair and the eyes sometimes over the hair I decided to just use my eraser tool to uh, delete the some parts of the eye to make it look like it was under the hair and it worked out pretty fine but some parts I had of the hair I had to go back and put some uh, a black brush tool over it and then I highlighted the mouth because I just could not draw that and she came out looking cute. Now I don't know about the mouth maybe I should have changed it but I'm pretty proud of this drawing and I hope you guys like this tutorial. It wasn't a full-on tutorial it was a speed drawing but I hope this helped and if you guys like the video if you guys comment down below if you want to see a tutorial um, where I go in depth into it and try and really explain it then you guys tell me in the comments and I will be there to do it I'll have a lot of fun making it so today I had a lot of fun drawing this gotcha character and I hope you enjoyed the video once again I hope you guys are having a wonderful day or night and I'll see you next time bye guys